We're joined this morning by State Senator Dick Dever. He represents District 32 in Bismarck. Senator, thanks for being here this morning. Thank you for inviting me. Yeah, glad to have you here. So, uh, of course, the session got off and running last week. Now we're here in the first full week of the legislature. Um, but I thought we could start by talking about the state of the state address that the governor delivered to uh, kick off the session. Uh, sure. What did you hear in that that you liked? You know, I, I really appreciated that he started the, the message with where we're at. Mm -hmm. Good things are happening in our state. And I think that's a, a good place to start. A and uh, then he moved from that to uh, talk about his initiatives. And he's got some bold things that he wants to do. Mm -hmm. He wants to rebuild a state hospital, move that to... Uh, uh, men's Correction Center, move the, the ladies to the Missouri River Correction Center, that's a big deal. Mm -hmm. He wants $50 million to build a presidential library for Teddy Roosevelt in Medora. He proposed $250 million from the SIF fund to uh, shore up the state employee pension plan. Those yeah. are all big issues. So these are all issues, uh, you know, have you uh, given some thought yourself to any of those or are, are those things to discuss as the session rolls along? Well, you know, that was his proposal. Now it's, uh, it's up to the legislature to move it forward and uh, I will be sponsoring a bill regarding the $250 million pension fund. I serve on the PERS board, the Public Employee Retirement System. And I think it's a discussion that we need to have, so I'm going to put it on the table. Okay. And yeah, see so where it goes. <laughs> yeah, see where that goes. Now uh, it's the first full week of the session. Now has begun. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of talk of committees, things like that. Um, what exactly is going on at the Capitol in these early days? Well, the session started last Thursday, and we we come up to speed really quick. So yesterday there was a full day of, of uh, hearings. Today we'll have our first floor session. I understand that uh, this afternoon in our floor session we'll have about 11 or 12 bills to consider already on the floor. Mm -hmm. um, the House had their first uh, uh, deadline yesterday after today. They can introduce no more than five bills till next Monday, so they were everywhere gathering co-sponsors okay. for those bills. Everything is hectic. Yeah, it moves along really quickly, huh? Yesterday, one of the after in the afternoon, one of the freshmen told me, he said, I think I'm supposed to be at a meeting somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> I got to figure that out. So freshmen have about three weeks yeah. to get past that learning curve. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Well, things are off and rolling. So um, what are you expecting to be the major topics at the session? I think some of, those, some of those issues, um, I've, my, my involvement in the legislature for the past several sessions has been in the area of human services. And uh, behavioral health is a big deal. Uh, you know, we've learned uh, in the last session, we, we put together $7 million for free through recovery uh, for inmates coming out of the state pen, and it's making a difference. It's working. And we're going to add about $4.5 million, or that's the proposal anyway, to extend beyond that population and, and make a difference. The issues of addiction and mental health in our society have, have really created havoc. And we have the ability, I think, to make a difference with that, which makes a difference for everybody. Okay, and uh, so will that be one of your priorities, I'm assuming, for the session? What other things, you know, do you have any other uh, specific pieces of legislation in mind that uh, you're hoping to uh, champion here in this session? Well, I'm, I'm working on a, a few other bills. One that I'm working on is um, several years ago, we put together a commission on alternatives to incarceration and brought a lot of different people together, including a Supreme Court Justice, a District Judge, County Sheriff, County Commissioner, mm -hmm. Department of Human Services, Department of Corrections. So I'm putting together a, a bill that will do a similar kind of thing for youth, not involving car incarceration, but involving things like foster care, and just bringing um, all the different players together because they all do good things, mm -hmm. and they all do their things separately, and they don't necessarily talk to each other. Sure. So we'll bring that conversation together. Okay. Uh, many things to uh, kind of keep, keep track of here in this there session. Are. Yeah, all right. Well, uh, Senator Dick Dever of Bismarck, uh, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you. All right, we appreciate having you.